Hello Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for tuning in to your weekly reading. I really do appreciate you being here and receiving these messages. Um, please remember to keep an open mind when addressing these messages. Um, there may be something here, hopefully, that does resonate with your situation. Um, I will be using a few different decks. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification button uh, to get updates for readings for your sign. So if you're dealing with an air sign, this reading can be applicable for you. Uh, or if you do have heavy air placement in your birth chart, then you know what? This could be for you. So let's jump into it and see what the cards have to say. So straight away with the Nine of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, there is a situation that you're taking slow. Uh, or that it's it's important for you to sort of take things day by day. You're at a point where you sort of want to slow down in your romantic relationships, or you may want to slow a connection down. Um, there may even, even be some of you who are thinking of terminating a connection, um, but this is a period of solitude. So I get the sense that you might be withdrawing from a person or a situation because you want things to slow down, um, and that might be a way of getting that air signs um, that factor that might be your way of making that happen okay so you're in two minds about a person or about a connection but you don't want to tell anyone that just yet you're sort of keeping that to yourself now it may be around an earth sign a Taurus Capricorn Virgo um, but we all, the only sign that has come up here is cancer okay so if you're dealing with a cancer this person has come up um, or Leo with the uh, Leo symbol here but I feel all in all with the Four of Pentacles, you're keeping this to yourself. So it's sort of like uh, some of you might be having something secret, okay? Something secretive going on, something that you're anxious about because clearly with the Moon card, this is about having anxiety about something here. So you're anxious about either telling people or anxious about where this connection is going. So, um, sorry, and the Queen of Wands is here as well. So this is double Leo energy. So all in all, I think with the Moon card coming up, you feel anxious about this connection and notice how she's holding the mask up to her face here. So you're, you could be pretending to be interested in someone and you're really not, or you could be pretending to turn a blind eye to something that's going on here. You may even feel like your person isn't being their authentic self and that might be throwing you off a little bit. With the Queen of Wands, you're keeping passion and spark alive in the connection and you're trying to make things like a fun loving way. Um, Really, it could be a bit of a power play here, air signs, that you're doing. Okay, you might be playing some games. The Queen of Wands, she likes to control and manipulate situations so they go to her liking. So, you know, you may be guilty of this. You may be engaging in this because you feel that's the only way for you to move forward in your situation this time. Um, but I think you're enjoying yourself. Well, there's a message here to enjoy yourself and not be carried away too much with all those sorts of things. The Ten of Pentacles, you're either not looking to settle down or your connection at this point in time, um, you're not looking at the long-term future. The long-term future seems to be reversed, okay? Normally, the Ten of Pen Pentacles, it's upright. This is about planning for the future, future connections, future love, etc. Taking those big steps, those big milestones. But this is reversed air signs, so you might not be ready to take the plunge just yet. Um you might even be fearing that or you're in two minds. You've thought about this connection and you've considered this person and suddenly you're like, wow, do I want them in my life? Can they be the person I'm settling down with? Or maybe even suddenly you're not seeing the future with this person, okay? You're not seeing the long-term future you once had. Maybe they stopped talking about the future with you. Suddenly, you know, they're not bringing up getting settled, moving in together, getting married or whatever it is, wherever you're at, having a child, any sort of major milestone. And maybe this scares you a little bit because we've got that moon card. Um, and intuitively, you're listening to your intuition and you're, you, it's almost like you might even be scared of what your intuition is telling you. That there may be someone here who you feel very disconnected to or you feel like things have slowed down. But look, maybe some of you are happy with the Nine of Pentacles. You're fulfilled wherever you are in this connection. And if you resonate with that message, then that's great. The Knight would encourage you to keep taking things one day at a time and not getting ahead of yourself. Um, but I would say with the Four, 
because this column here, the four can be like dreams and endings and, and being in this alternate state. And we do have like the moon, which can be the subconscious because they're in the same column. It could be that your dreams are trying to tell you something. So you might even be dreaming about what a future with your current person is going to look like. But these dreams are causing you anxiety. They're either making you restless, you're not sleeping very well, but you're not sharing this with anyone. It's almost like you want to keep it to yourself. You want to keep this person a secret or you want to keep this connection a secret. Or maybe you feel like if everyone's going to know about it, it's going to jeopardize it in some way. So at this stage, you're not wanting to be loud and proud about what's going on because maybe you're fearful. Um, you're fearful of, of the response of other people. Or there could even be someone else that you have around you here. Um, a new person coming in with a two of wands. Someone foreign, someone new. Suddenly you have options. Um, and when you have options, air signs, you know, it makes us think differently about our first person. Because if you're interested in someone else, do you really love the first one? You know, there's some heavy issues that you possibly have to go, go over or mull over. The past could be resurfacing here as well. The moon can be past thoughts, actions. Um, and past connections. So there could be an ex coming back into the picture that may be that other person that's coming in. If it's not, and the moon is like the past, you may be in a connection where you feel you don't want to tell people you're back together with someone or you're not ready to open up or you're fearful that they're going to do the same thing to you or you're fearful you're going to end up leaving them again or there's going to be some sort of repetitive cyclical um, energy here. But intuitively, you feel like something has changed emotionally. And it might be on your end. It might be on your person's end. But either way, there's something that has changed drastically. And I think with the Queen of Wands, you're possibly being avoidant about that, about what's really going on. And you may be sort of pushing it to the side. You might even be denying it um, entirely. But I'm wondering why you've sudden, why the sudden stop with the Knight of Pentacles. Um, the cards that face the right are the future, and we've got the Knight, and suddenly your future's at a standstill, or something hangs in the balance here. The future that you thought you once had, or the type of person you thought you'd go after, suddenly is not. It's not what you thought it would be. Um, the Moon can be fantasy, so something you've projected, a fantasy maybe you've projected. Um, it's not going to be what you thought it would be. And it may take you by surprise. I feel the Queen of Wands is all about surprises. So I think you're, you're, you're keeping your head down. You're not making too much noise. Um, you know, you're not causing a fuss. There might be something going on in the relationship, but you're not vocalizing it. You're keeping quiet. You're keeping calm. You have come up as the Four of Swords. So your energy, the overall energy for you, um, and out of all the cards that you're coming up as, the Four of Swords is like you're keeping quiet, you're keeping mellow, you're just sort of hush-hush. You're not telling other people. You might not even be telling your person what's going on internally. You're keeping those thoughts so private. Um, it's such a private matter. Um, it's so secretive and you're determined to keep it that way. But it could also be that you need to withdraw from the situation to analyze things. So you may even, if, if this is the case, air signs, um, you may even be noticing that your person is asking you, you know, what's wrong? What's been going on? I feel like you've been cold. You've been distant. And again, only you will know internally what you're feeling and what you're thinking. And you're not, allowed, you're not about to let that on. You're certainly not about to tell them that there's someone else that's around you. Um... Or what you feel emotionally, but you're gonna st you're you're gonna stick to that hunch that you have, uh, that intuitive thought from within that you have. You're you're gonna stick to it, and you're gonna be very certain about it. Um, and maybe that's the best uh, remedy for you right now is to keep quiet, obviously, you know, and not cause any any ruffles or any you know ruffle any feathers. And maybe that's the best thing for you right now. Maybe not. Maybe you'll need to be loud and proud and speak up about it. You do have the Queen of Wands. So if you want to present that issue and you want to put, their, put it out in the open, the Queen of Wands is all about taking action and initiative. So if you're looking for that opportunity to present itself, it will. The moment will come. The conversation will come up. Whatever it is that you need to address, there'll be an opportunity for you to do that. 
uh, air signs. So I will leave your reading at that. I really appreciate you watching. I do hope it's been helpful. Uh, don't forget to drop a like and also to hit the bell notification button when you subscribe to the channel to get notifications uh, for when readings for your sign, your element come out. Um, otherwise, thank you so much for all your love and support. And until next time, bye for now.